What's up everyone, today I'll be showcasing a fun squad for the Weather Cup with Ludicolo. Which I am running with Bubble, for no other reason than that I just think it's much more fun than Razor Leaf. But if you really want to do well with this team, run Razor Leaf, it's much better. But even with Bubble, I was able to do very well with this squad. Where I am leading Blaziken, because it's just a premier anti-grass in this meta. Just destroys every single Bomber Snow Cordilli and even ludicolo that comes along your way and even versus water types you have some plays there with uh counter and brave bird and then samarod in the back it's so spammy fury cutter helps it fury cutter plus mega horn helps it get a lot of play versus grass types too so in general in this in this team samarod's kind of your pivot because even if a cordelli ludicolo or uh bomber snow was to come out you can still fury cutter it and mega horn it to uh, to knock it out so I had a lot of fun with this squad. Let's just get into these battles. First match, we have a Blaziken Mirror, which is fine with me. I'm just gonna stay in here if I can take care of the Blaziken with my Blaziken. Kind of okay with that. But they actually switch out into Gyarados to catch a Blaze Kick. Very good play by my opponent there. And this is rough for me. I actually have nothing for Gyarados. Uh, this is actually where Razor Leaf Ludicolo would have been really good already. And trust me, that's going to be a common theme in this video. In basically every single match, Razor Leaf Ludicolo would have been much, much better. But, you know, I still don't care. Bubble Ludicolo is still going to put in work. Trust me, okay? Trust me. I actually went in Samurott first to Gyarados S. That's kind of my best answer, as I was hoping two Hydro Cannons knock out. But sadly, they do not. But they do bring it into a nice farm down range to get a couple bubbles head start on my Ludicolo. Now, I don't expect them to bring in Blaze because the bubbles would add up, so they bring in my Lodic. The bubbles do nothing here, but the Leaf Storm would basically one shot. Problem with Leaf Storm, however, is that it does drop your attack by two stages. So if they shield this. The next one wouldn't knock out. Uh, they switch out though into Blaziken right now after shielding up that Leaf Storm. This is fine with me. I'm going to shield up this Blaze Kick and I'm hopefully going to be able to farm down before the next. But I won't be able to because they had already had so much energy. Now, I could shield this. I could shield this, get to a Brave Bird first on my Lodic. Hopefully get a shield and then Leaf Storm the my Lodic. But the problem is that I think the my Lodic will reach a Hyper Beam or Blizzard. Before I can reach the uh, Leaf Storm on Ludicolo then. So I'm kind of forced to let this go. Farm it down with Ludicolo. I don't even throw my move. Because I want to farm it down with Ludicolo at this point. Farm it down. And now I have to rely on a bait. If they shield a Leaf Storm here. The next one wouldn't knock out. So I have to go for the Ice Beam bait. Hoping they shield. And they do. Great call by me. Now go for the Leaf Storm. Oh, not yet. Because they are going to get off a Surf. Here. I'll shield this up. I have a Leaf Storm loaded. Throw it right here. Does it knock out the Milotic? Does it knock out the Milotic? It does. GG's. Another Blaziken Mirror. Wow. Uh, we're just going to do this the same way. Stay in, but actually switch into Kingdra. Which definitely isn't ideal. Uh, but if I can get shields down there, here, this is very fine. I'm just going to go for a Blaze Kick first. Expecting a shield. And they do shield. Now I should be able to get to the Brave Bird no matter what. And either take out the Kingdra or uh, take about shields, both of which are fine with me, because when shields are down, both Ludicolo and Samarot are really, really strong. I'm going to go for the Brave Bird here. Knocks out the Kingdra. They're going to come in Blaze, I think. Counter me down. Only takes one counter, though, so don't get that much energy. Right? They don't. I'm going to bring in Samarot here, since Samarot just outpaces Blaziken. Well, they're going to get to... Uh, they were going to get to a... Uh, Blaze kick at the same time as a Hydra right there, but it's just a Blaze kick, right? And they bring in Barbarical. And this thing is scary. It's super effective Fury Cutters. This Grass Knot did a good chunk. I will not come out with a, with a Leaf Storm, of course, since this double super effective. But I do think they're going to reach two more Cross Shops before my next Leaf Storm. So I can't really shield, because if I shield this and they get to another Cross Shop, they're also going to be able to Grass Knot my Samurai, which is, of course, a big problem. So... I don't want that to happen. I shoot up this move, expecting it to be a grass knot. Great shield. That was a cross shot. Would be very, de very devastating. I didn't think Barbarical would be that tanky. So I thought this would knock out. Easy. But Barbarical lives quite easily to the point where I can't farm down. In comes Blaze. I know I can throw a couple more Fury Cutters before throwing my Hydro. Since they weren't close to a Brave Bird just yet. I throw right before the Brave Bird, I believe. And then I have another Hydro Cannon stored. For the Barbarical, this is what I love about Samurai. It's just so freaking spammy. 
if you can manage to just overload on energy everywhere, like, it's an absolute menace. No Blaziken in the lead this time, but we have a Polyrath, another fighter. I don't love this, as it kind of walls Samurott too. I was going to try to catch a Scald on Samurott, but I wasn't expecting them to throw immediately at 6. But they did, so that's kind of unfortunate. Gonna go for another Blaziken. Oh, actually gonna go for straight for the Brave Bird here. Maybe hoping for a No Shield. Do they No Shield this? They do not. They need one more Mud Shot. I wasn't expecting them to throw him immediately again. So I didn't catch again. I was... Gonna over farm one before catching, but they actually threw immediately, which is wild. Two times I had an easy opportunity to catch, but I just didn't take it. Now I throw again, like one before they get there, and they switch it to Primarina. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. Uh, another situation where, yes, uh, Razor Leaf would have been much, much better. Much, much better, but it's still fine. I go for the Leaf Storm. This will knock out the Primarina. Unless they shield, which sadly they do. I think they believe they think that they can farm down, but they cannot. Ludicolo still getting to another Leaf Storm right here. Just will knock out the Prima Arena. Bye bye. What do they bring in now? My Lodic. This isn't too good, especially if they have Hyper Beam. It will one shot Samurott, and I cannot one shot with Megahorn. It's nine uh dragon tails for a hyper beam and they're now at eight so need one more they threw every single charge move with the polyrath immediately when i got them are they gonna throw immediately here they are catch the hyper beam on the blaziken this is the win condition the polyrath has some energy too though and i'm in range where dynamic punch kills so i have to over farm on energy here throw the hydro cannon as they're gonna get to the surf but it lands on the polyrath which is perfectly fine with me because i have two at this point Throw it into the Milotic, and this will knock it out. What a match right there. GG's. Ludicolo in the lead, and they are running Razor Leaf, which makes this matchup much better for me. They really should have been running Bubble. Now, this is like the only matchup that becomes better at Bubble. And as you can see, these Razor Leafs are still doing a significant chunk of damage versus Blaze. I'm gonna throw the Blaze Kick. Sally, that doesn't knock out. They get to the Ice Beam right here. I'm gonna shield. They're clearly weak to Blaze again in the back, so... Uh, I didn't want to throw a move there, I just want to build up my energy and have a Polyrath too, which is just not great. Again, imagine Razor leave Ludicolo, right? Imagine Razor leave Ludicolo. Yeah, I know, I know, I don't really care. Uh, we catch a Scald this time on my Ludicolo. Again, it's 6 for Scald, so easy catches right here. Luckily, no attack drop, but even if our attack got dropped, the Leaf Storm probably still knocks out. Since Leaf Storm is just such an amazing move. They threw the dynamic punch here basically immediately. I can do like three more bubbles before throwing my move uh, before they get to another one. So that's what I do over farm as much as possible. This will knock out the Polyrath unless they shield, which they do. Uh, I think I'll shield this up because I do want to. Like, this is my best chance for Polyrath. I, I need to get rid of this thing and I can overload a bit more here. But to bring in Ludicolo, I'm going to try to bubble down. I don't want to use my energy, but. Oh, we got Razor Leaf down just before, but I am able to farm down with Blaze. What comes in now? What do they have? It's Cordelli. So this is not looking too bad. I go for the Brave Bird right here. This should do a ton of damage. There's still one bullet seed away from their move, so I can barely get to this Blaze Kick right here to knock him out. And then Samurott has to deal with the Polyrath. Polyrath already has some energy. And I'm... Oh, that was a mistake. I... I should not honestly i thought the polyrath has less health so i did one counter there hoping to bring it bring it to the hydro kind of range but that counter is gonna cost me along with this mistake i tied my move really badly there they got a free mud shot so because of that one counter that i did and that one free mud shot i gave him there i'm barely not gonna be able to reach my hydro cannon oh my goodness oh that's so unfortunate so unfortunate two misplays there uh, definitely uh, cost me the game ggs curdilly lead amazing for me but they bring in the pelipper which is just absolutely awful this thing beats everything on my team and i go for the ice beam and i even dare to call it oh this is i'm in shambles right now this is this is quite bad luckily the ice beam did do a decent chunk and I shoot a hurricane, which is a quite a good call right here. But yeah, um, another game by <laughs> Razor Leaf would have been better. Uh, let's not talk about it, okay? Let's not talk about it. Anyway, uh, Bubble Ludicolo still putting in work. I put it into the red. I'm gonna let this go. They over farmed a ton though. They're basically they're like three wind attacks over, so I think they need like seven for the next. 
five, six, that's seven. I'm gonna shield up farm all the way down at this point as I want a ton of energy in order to be able to hit that Cordilli uh, with my Samurott. Samurott can do a lot of damage there with the Mega Horn and the Hydro Cannon. Gonna throw the Mega Horn immediately, not expecting a shield. And honestly, I am very, I'm not sure how much a Hydro Cannon does here. So I'm gonna go for another a Mega Horn, giving them a free Bullet Seed in the process. Again, bad timing. I over tapped by one move there. I'm gonna try to catch here. Uh, Hydro Cannon would have been enough there. I should not have gone for Mega Horn. A Hydro Cannon would have definitely been enough. They have Blaziken in the back though, which is kind of nice for me. I can just go for the Brave Bird. They have to throw a move here or I farm him down. This will knock me out, but then I might still be able to outpace with the Hydro Cannon. Come on, Samurott. Come on. Let's go. Samurott again. Coming in clutch. This thing is so spammy. I love it in this one. I really, really do. GG's. Oh, and that was the final battle already. 4-1 with the squad. Not too bad. And it would have been a 5-0 with Razor Leaf. Let's be real. So definitely a team I can recommend you. If you don't have Ludic Holo, use another grass type like a Bomber Snow or Cordilli. If you don't have those, use another water type that does like fine against opposing water types like Gyarados or Kingdra. And it will be a fine team too. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Good luck, your Valstrayers.